My name is Edward Rodriguez. The name of my car is El Fuego. And I put the stickers on myself. I have this nice little meter right here in the little front seat. Also, I did the head sticker myself. It's a bit crooked, but I think I did pretty well. Yes, I thought the car is coming together nicely. I'll check back in with you when I finish my hot rod. I've acquired this Lego set and I'm gonna build it during the quarantine. It's called Hidden Side and it's like a monster truck and a motorcycle. So let's get straight into it. By the way, a quick look at the back of the box, close up of the monster truck. The two homies riding on the bike. Some dude inside the truck. I mean, the truck looks pretty cool. And we got some camera guy walking his dog. So there, that's it. And uh, we're gonna get straight into building this thing. Let's and go. I have unboxed it. And there's three packs, pack one, pack two, pack three. And then the stickers, four monster truck wheels. I mean, these are pretty big, to be honest. I didn't think they'd be this large. So this is gonna be a kind of a decent sized monster truck. And then we got the book. And I mean, the book's kind of thick. Look at the thickness on that. All right, so let's just uh, stop building the first thing. I have unboxed the first pack and it's got this stuff and this stuff. And this is meant to build the motorcycle and the first guy. So I was, the two characters I'm building in this first little set is this guy, this electronic vlogger dude and his little dog and then some evil biker guy. Now I built the two and they came out pretty awesome. Like these are those two, the dog's kind of weird. Um, He's like Sifu almost. He's got a weird little body on him, but forget that. The biker dude looks awesome. He's got two heads to choose from. Both of them come helmet strapped if you want that. But I prefer this ghost one. The beard's awesome. And then we got the vlogger guy. I mean, he's pretty detailed. Like he's got a hood, a hat, the smartphone, camera, selfie stick, a dog bone on his pants. I mean, dude's kind of definitely detailed. And yeah, those are the two first characters. I'll check in when I start building the bike. Built the frame, kind of simple so far. I added a bit more to the frame. Now we got a base, it's kind of solid, not falling apart anymore. Okay, checking in again. We have some serious progress now. We have the seat. We kind of see the frame, it's really thickened out. We know that the bike's coming together. I mean, it's really impressive how they always make these designs, how everything fits perfectly. It's like Tetris. And I put the stickers on. Now the stickers are always nervous for me because like my fingers are like weird, man. They're too big to hold it. So like I have to be super precise when doing it. But I see the handlebars are gonna be up here and the seating. So yeah, it's coming together nice. You got a tire. Yeah, man, the Lego tires are just cool. They're probably like my favorite part. And uh, I'm going to put this sucker on. We have some serious progress since I last checked in. It's kind of like a lawnmower now. I can kind of move it. I say the frame is super solid. Like, you can't actually even bend it. Like, all these little intricate parts have really held it together tightly. There's a nice little handlebar gauge. I'm still nervous about putting the rest of the stickers on. Because my fingers are too big for it. But the front wheel looks pretty good. Just got to finish up the back of it. And uh, I'll show you the completed got model. Medium thick tires now. Let's go. And I have finished it. I mean, it looks really good. It's got that back seat for the extra passenger if he wants to get involved. But the wheels just popped onto the side, which I was surprised about. It's like, it's low, but it's high at the same time. And a little drive test. Let's get in there. Oh, look at that freshness boom he's driving it's smooth it's pretty cool actually um and then I, I put the perfect placement of that sticker on i was so nervous about messing that up but i think i did a really good job and yeah this is the first piece done next up is the monster truck and it's half of it so i'll check in once i'm halfway done with that yeah this was bag two and it builds like half the monster truck and some guy now i dumped it out and like it's actually a lot of stuff so I'll check in once I have something built. This was the character that I was meant to build doing this bag, and here they are. I mean, they came out pretty good. I like it. Definitely looks like this person's up to some highly illegal activity. I mean, they have a nice revolver. The wings are pretty cool. They look like they're like glow in the dark kind of style, so I wonder if they will glow in the dark. I'll try that maybe. 
and there's also that other version for some reason they give you two versions and this is the head so this was a woman you wouldn't know by looking at it especially with the clothing they could have maybe gave a little bit more female style clothing but this person's like it's pretty cool character i like it i like these like uh zombie kind of styles and um yeah this person's dope super quick check-in i'm on stage 12 that's what it's meant to look like i built it like this it seems to be quite a long fl uh, frame for them um for the thing can't even speak but yeah it's all and like always when you have like a ton of pieces it's like the piece you need is always in front of you but you have such a hard time finding it like you're looking at it yet you can't find it so yeah i'll check in when i'm a little more built on the frame again we're on step 22 of uh this thing or oh, step 20 20 i actually turned the page and we got the a bit more depth to it a bit more color but it's still a base don't know what's gonna happen yet on step like 30 and it's coming together nice we can see a wheel's gonna go in there i mean it's a really good design job sturdy which i like about the set they got the back headlights i like it when a set is sturdy and you can actually grip it without it falling apart so that's pretty good. Then we got the front, we got the headlights, we got a grill. I mean, you could cook a sausage, you could cook a steak on that thing. It's a 50K grill right there. And um, it's looking like an old hot rod car so far. So let's see how this turns out. I'll check in when I build a little more. I was building the set and I was just looking through and I found another one of these little revolvers. So it turns out this character can dual wield them. So that's pretty cool. Just thought I'd let you know. I did not see that coming. That was just a surprising fact. These are Juan Hernandez. I'm here to talk about the El Fuego Mobile. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good, honestly. Uh, I got the wood paneling right here, man. This is imported straight from Colombia. Okay, I need to stop. And yeah, it's come together quite nicely. You can see the front. It looks like a Mexican hot rod. Okay, I have an issue. Um, yeah, it's got the good seating. The back. It got the engine. Andale, amigo. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm done. This is the El Fuego monster truck. It's coming together nicely. I'll check in when I start building the other half. There's a preview of it. Look at that. The top of it looks awesome. It's got a cannon on the side of it. And we got Eric Hernandez, the driver. I dumped the third and final pack. It's going to build the rest of the monster truck and the last character. Eric Hernandez, the driver. And we got a box. What's in the box? His cape. Um, yeah, every driver needs a cape. We got the thick boy wheels, four of them. I mean, these are seriously some thick wheels. So, And we got the rims. Uh, there was one interesting piece in here, the spring. Like, I didn't actually know they'd even put a spring on it. That was pretty awesome. Um, and then we got just the rest of the pieces. Quite a lot in here. And I'll check in when I build the character first. The first character right there, Eric Hernandez, the two-time world racing champion in 1994-1995. He bought home the gold for Mexico two-time. And he's out here to represent and slay the zombies. No, oh my gosh. This is him. He's got a cool band-aid on his face, a smirk. He's got a bullseye on his chest and he's got a cool helmet. Yeah, plus the cape. This is basically the closest thing to Superman you're ever gonna get. So this is what we're gonna be building. Th this little piece, I'm sure it's gonna attach to the rest of the uh, monster truck and I'll check in with you when this is built. Check in. This thing is pretty complicated to be honest. Like a lot of these little pieces that like are hard to fit in. And then I just realized this thing is like a real spring. It actually bounces up and down so. Yeah, I wonder what that's gonna be for. Quick check in. It's a bit more smoothed out now. And uh, yeah, I did build it the wrong way and I had to take half of it apart and do it again. I mean, there's so many little intricate pieces on this. And I'll check in when I have a little bit more. Yeah, it just took a turn. Like I didn't even realize, but we just connected the bottom. It's got like a hydro hydraulic stitch thing where it can bounce up and down. I connected it with one little thing. And I'm not gonna lie, this thing got super heavy all of a sudden. It was light and now it's real heavy. I mean, this is a heavy piece. It's gonna be pretty awesome when it's finished though. 
The El Fuego is coming. Good development. I just realized you had to pop that in, but look at that. Boom. It pops up on its own. Let's get a front view, maybe. Okay. Another development. This little thing comes off and you can bounce it. And if you want to go solid, you just lock it in. And then it's solid. Okay. Man, this is actually a really awesome design. Whoever designed this did a really good job. Four cylinder thing looks awesome. Looks like some Polaroid picture. I just love the bright colors on it. I love color. Just thought it looked cool. It's still wheelless, but we attached this engine thing. It spins. It looks really cool. You can't lie and say that doesn't look dope. It looks really dope. Another check in on the El Fuego. Yeah, it, it's really an amazing piece, actually. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, this is super awesome. It's so detailed. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I'll check in when I'm almost done. Really close. This is coming together nice. We just added the roof, F for Fuego. The lights, we got the engine. You can lock it in place and spin it if you want to. Right now I have it a bit locked, so you can't move it. But if you move these things, you can spin it around. It looks cool. We got the engine, spikes, license plate number 309. Um, the stickers, I was nervous about putting these on, but I, I did pretty well on the placement. Even the headlights, I mean the headlights move side to side. Like. I feel like the Lego sets nowadays are so much better than they we want. We just hooked up a cannon to the side of this thing. And we got a shovel on the side. Yo, this is awesome. I mean, I can't wait till we do the wheels, man. This thing is gonna be so dope. We got the freaking Colombian wood paneling. We got the laser cannon. We got the shovel. The four multicolor cinder engine. From Polaroid, we got the stickers, we got the spikes, the 50k grill, the steering wheel, the window shot. Oh yeah, this puppy is rolling. We are almost done. All I have to do is get the wheels. I create, I built them. These are some huge wheels. We put them on the truck, and then we're done. And then I'll do a final overview. I finish the set, and I'll start off with the motorcycle. I mean, this is pretty dope. Look at that. Look at these brothers in arms. Did you know the one in the back's actually a woman? You would not know that though. I mean, the transformation did her dirty, for real dirty. Sorry, it's a bit blurry, but yeah, the hot rod's got a pretty cool thing. These two, dude's got a crowbar now, and she's got the wings. I'm pretty sure they glow in the dark, not confirmed. And ride ability test, boom, that sucker rides, okay. Now we got the big, boy this is the monster truck now this thing's got a lot going on on it first off we got juan hernandez the driver then we got a shovel then we got some radio antenna stuff then we got an engine that spins and it's pretty dope because you can lock it in and it won't spin no more then we got the camera guy chilling on the back then if you touch this little lever thing boom you can pop it up and now it's like spring loaded so let me just pick this sucker back up. And so, see, now you can spring load it. It's pretty good. Engine, fire, license plate, fire. Get that inside of the steering wheel view, fire, El Fuego. And then we got a big cannon on the side. I mean, it's just an awesome truck. And that's it for the review. What's this called? The hidden side, monster trucking, uh, motorcycle bike thing. Yeah, awesome. I rate this at like a 10 out of 10. Like this truck is seriously, dope. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace.